Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are learning how to crochet the rice stitch. This stitch is completely reversible. Both sides look exactly the same, which is awesome uh, for lots of different reasons. And you were using a combination of front post stitches and back post stitches. And that is all that this stitch consists of. It is a little bit on the holy side, but it does make for very nice little scrubbies if you're going to be using this for a washcloth around the house or anything like that. So this yarn, this pattern stitch is a little bit of a yarn eater, but it turns out really nice and it looks really great. So let's learn how to crochet the rice stitch. First, we are going to start with a chain and you want your chain to be an odd number. It doesn't really matter how many you have as long as you have an odd number of stitches. So to start, I'm going to start with 11. So here I have 11 chains. I'm going to find the third chain from my hook. So we've got one, two, three. I'm going to twist it a little bit so that I'm looking at the back side and I'm going to place a double crochet right in this back bar. I'm going to double crochet in each chain all the way to the end. So start in your third chain from your hook place a double crochet and place a double crochet in each of these chains all the way until you get to the end. All right, so we started with 11 chains. We did a double crochet in the third from the hook, so we should have nine double crochets here total. To start your next row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. In this very first stitch here, we're going to place a half double crochet. And what we're about to do for row two here is going to be the same for the entire rest of your pattern. It's this exact row over and over and over again. So this first post right here, this is your next stitch. So here's where you would normally go into the top of this stitch. We're gonna go around this post at the bottom though instead. So we're going to do a double crochet, so wrap it. And then instead of going into the top here, insert your hook around this post, okay? So from front to back, you're going completely around this post. You're gonna complete your double crochet as normal. Now on the next one, we're going to go around this double crochet post, but we're going to do it from the back side. So wrap your yarn, and this can be a little bit tricky. It's all how you just move your hands. Come from the back side here, bring your hook through that hole. Now insert your hook around so that you're only grabbing that post. Okay, that one post and complete your double crochet as normal. And these are front post and back post stitches. So if you've done any kind of ribbing or anything like that using these stitches, it's the same concept. So we're gonna double crochet now front post, which means we're gonna come from the front side around the next post and finish your double crochet as normal. So all we're doing the entire way is we're alternating front post, back post, front post. Now we're going to do a back post. So you got to come from the back side, wrap your yarn like a double crochet, come in from the back side and get only that one post and complete your double crochet as normal. Now we just did a back. So now we're going to do a front post in this one here. double crochet. Now we're going to do a back post around the next. Beautiful. Now when you get to where you only have two stitches left, we're always going to start and end a row with a half double crochet. So this last one we know is always going to be a half double crochet. We always also want to start and end with a front post double crochet. So now that I've done my back one here, I'm going to do a front post double crochet around this next post. And I'm going to put a half double crochet in the top of this last stitch. Okay, so let's let's take a little look at what we have done here. Let's see, 
we can zoom in anymore. So here we have where we started with a half double crochet. We have a front post double crochet, a back post double crochet, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, and then we ended with a half double. So you're always going to have one half double crochet on each side of your row. Then you're going, the very next stitch on either side is always going to be a front post. However many you have in here, you're just going to alternate back front, back front, back front, but you're always going to have half double crochets bracketed around front post double crochets. Okay? So it's literally this row the entire rest of the time that you're crocheting. So I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit. And we're going to do another row. And then this row that we're about to do is all that you do over and over and over. Pull my yarn. Okay, so you're always going to chain one and turn to look at the back side of your work. You're going to put a half double crochet in that very first stitch. And here is where it gets a little bit harder to do. So now you see that this one is the front post from the last row. Now since we turned our work, it looks like a back post now, right? Because it looks like it's coming out of the back. Remember, you're always, always, always going to start with a front post post. So now for every subsequent row that you do, your front posts are always going to look like they're going into the backs and complete your double crochet as normal. And then your back posts are always going to grab this one and pull it to the back. So it looks like it's coming out of the front, which means we need to do the opposite and pull it to the back. Complete that double crochet as normal. This one, we're going to do a front post. So just look for the holes here. Go through there and complete that front post double crochet. The next one, this one is a front post, or it looks like a front post anyway. So we're going to use these two holes here to bring that post to the back. So come from the back side, get those in those holes, and then just complete your double crochet as normal. We're going to complete that all the way to the end of the row. And remember, always, always, always end with a front post, double crochet, and then a half double crochet. Always. So now my last stitch here is going to be this one. And it looks like it's a back post, right? So we're going to place a front post around that just in the big holes. You don't want to go into this hole up here because that's the top of the stitch. You want to make sure you're only getting the post of it down here. So finish that as a double crochet and then we're going to place a half double in the top of that half double. And that is it. You're going to repeat that sequence every single row all the way up for the entirety of this stitch pattern. So a few things before we finish and talk to you about how to count your rows in this stitch. I find it easiest to count, let me zoom out just a little bit. I find it easiest to count my stitches if I'm looking at the posts or the, the side of the post. So if you will look, let's zoom way back in here. Okay, so if we're going to count this, I'm gonna count this post right here. You see these vertical lines that go like this? You can kind of see them every, every row, right? Those are your rows. So look for the flat parts here. So this is one row. This is two rows. This is three rows. This is four rows. And this is five rows. So what you're counting, it's easier instead of trying to count the actual post stitches themselves because this, this one right here is actually coming from way up here. So if you count these flat lines instead, it's a lot easier to count your rows. So that is all there is to the rice stitch. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty easy. And as once you get the hang of it, it's just a breeze to work up. So I'm using this in a new washcloth pattern on Heart Hook Home. The little knobs given by these front post stitches make it an excellent washcloth for wiping down the counters and getting off maybe a little, you know, crusty dried bits after you've made dinner and things like that. So definitely give this stitch a try. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to creating more with you soon. Thanks for watching.